Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling something that's both interesting and let's be honest, pretty frustrating unlocking your phone when it's locked out. You've probably heard of this tool, a software that claims it can unlock almost any Android device. If you've ever found yourself locked out due to a forgotten Google account or faced restrictions from your carrier, this tool could be the answer. In this video, we'll explore its features and even share some tips and tricks for getting the most out of it. Let's get started. Now let's talk about the problems this tool aims to solve. We've all been there, maybe you bought a second hand phone and it's stuck with a carrier lock, or perhaps you've forgotten your Google account password after a factory reset. It's frustrating, right? Tools like these are designed to help with exactly these issues. This tool supports unlocking a range of mobile devices including brands like Samsung, Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi and Honor. It works on phones with Qualcomm and Kint and Spreadron chips, which are commonly found in popular Android devices. A major highlight is its simplicity. You don't need to be a tech expert to use it. After downloading the tool's built-in driver manager handles everything, so there's no need to search for separate drivers online. This ease of use appeals to both casual users and mobile repair professionals. Many tools require you to input your credit card details even for a trial, which can feel risky. The fact that this tool doesn't ask for this information makes it feel like a low-pressure option. You can download it, dive into its features which serves as a fantastic opportunity for users to engage with the software without the pressure of an upfront payment. One of the most appealing aspects of this trial is that it doesn't require users to enter credit card details to take full advantage of the 15-day free trial of the tool. Here are several strategies that can enhance your experience and maximize your understanding of the software. Start by thoroughly exploring the software's features. Familiarize yourself with the interface, tools available and specific functionalities. Look for any tutorials or user guides that might be included, as these can provide insights into how to effectively use the tool. It's beneficial to test the tool on different devices. If you have access to multiple smartphones or tablets, try unlocking or bypassing FRP on each one. This not only allows you to assess the tool's compatibility but also gives you a broader perspective on its effectiveness. Once you're comfortable with the tool, it's time to dive in and start testing it on various devices, especially if you have access to multiple models. This is crucial because each device can have its quirks and you want to see how the tool handles different scenarios. By experimenting across various smartphones, you can truly gauge the tool's effectiveness and see how well it unlocks different devices. As you explore its features, pay special attention to the key functionalities, like unlocking devices and bypassing FRP locks. It's not just about hitting buttons and hoping for the best. You want to assess how smooth the process is. Are there any hiccups or delays? Is the software user-friendly? These factors will give you insights into how intuitive the tool really is. It's also a great idea to keep a log of your experiences. Jot down any challenges you face and note how effectively the tool addresses your needs. Did it work seamlessly or did you run into some bumps along the way? This record will be invaluable, especially if you want to troubleshoot later or seek help from online communities. Ultimately, this hands-on testing isn't just about the trial period, it's about understanding the tool's real-world performance. By the end of the 15 days, you want to walk away not only with a clear picture of the Evo tool's capabilities, but also with the confidence to decide whether it's worth your investment for the long term. The goal is to ensure that you feel empowered and informed about your options moving forward. And don't forget to subscribe for more fixes and tips just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.